Hello guys, my name is Doak and if you want to see some graffiti, click over here because in this video we're not gonna paint, we're gonna do something even more exciting. You all know that I love graffiti, but just some of you know that I'm also a big fan of cars. 92% of you are men, so I would say that you love cars too. And maybe also some of these women love them. Lots of people got a dream that one day they're gonna buy their dream car with such an amazing performance. Just as Ferrari, Lamborghini, Jaguar, Porsche. But we all know that there is one big problem about these cars. They are so expensive. Is that true? Mm, no. It's not true. You really don't need $200,000 to drive that super sport car. And I'm not talking about renting cars. In this video, I will tell you exactly how much money do you need to drive a super sport car. To drive a car that is faster than 95, 98% of all cars in the world. And how do I know how much money do you need? Because I got a car like that. The regular viewers of this channel knows what car it is. But for the rest of you, let me introduce the Lada, the best super sport in the world. For sure, I just kidding, and I got bad news. I just realized that somebody took my audio system from the Lada. But they were kind thieves, as you know, I had some problems with the Lada, and since that moment. When they took the audio, the Lada works perfectly, they repaired it. Okay, the Lada is definitely not a supercar. But what about this beauty? Introduce Mercedes E55 AMG. Yes, you are right. I covered the license plates with the tape because you know that you need to believe in tape. Always. Maybe some of you are not impressed at all because you see just some old Mercedes. This is a V8 compressor engine with almost 480 horsepower and 700 newton meters. That's more than Lamborghini Aventador. This car makes it from 0 to 100 kilometers or 60 miles per second in 4.5 seconds. For example, Lamborghini Aventador makes it in 3 seconds. the drive with this car you're gonna have a feeling that all the other cars are so slow you can have a solid car with 200 horsepower but in comparison with this car it's nothing but this is not some small unpractical car <sighs> I could comfortably slip in here without any problem Most of the modern cars from this category are just slightly faster, but they are expensive as hell. You really don't need a radio in this car. You don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get the feeling of the super sport. But if we want to talk about the fuel consumption, to be the best. Skilled drivers should get a car like this. Your driving skills, they don't need to be perfect, but your mind has to be clear. You have to know when you can use that performance. Because if you're gonna kick that pedal, 
in the middle of the steering, you can kill yourself. Usually I don't do this, but I had to try it at least once for the video. <laughs> So, what's the conclusion? How much does it cost? I made a little table for you, I'm gonna show it to you. So, let's start with the fuel. The fuel consumption per 100 kilometers is 70 liters. It means that it's 16 miles per gallon. It all depends on the prices in your country. For example, in USA it would be much cheaper, but I made 110 kilometers today and it means that I had to spend about 30 euros per day. And that's a lot. My average kilometers per month, I would spend 500 euros for just for fuel with that car. But all the petrol heads knows that these cars are not about the consumption of the fuel. And most of the time people don't use these cars every single day. It's like their second car. If you want to buy a super sport car like this, Porsche, Lamborghini or whatever, the new one, you have to spend more than 100,000 euros most of the time. But the prices for cars like this are somewhere between 14,000 euros and 19,000 euros. So 14,000 to 90,000 for the car and this is the consumption of the fuel. In these prices I involved also the costs of the paperwork and some repairs. It's true that for that price you can have a brand new Ford Focus or Renault, Clio or something like that. You're gonna get a brand new car but I would say that cars like this are cars without without a soul. It's like buying a fridge. It's almost impossible to destroy that IMG engine. Can you say something like that about today's engines? As you can see, it's not that expensive to have a super sport car. For sure, this IMG Mercedes is not the only option. So if you have any other suggestions, any other cars, let me know in the comments below. And by the way, this Mercedes is for sale, so if you would like to buy him, let me know. And by the way, don't forget to hit that like button. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I just had to record a video about that car because I love it. I just love it. But in the next video, we're back with the graffiti and painting stuff, okay? Thanks for watching and see you next time.